I will provide the link on the description then click on download so you can choose from the pro and the light version then let's go to Balena Etcher then click on the download button the middle one so I'm using a Linux and if you're using Windows you can choose which versions you would like to download now put it on your desktop for ease of navigation now let's open up Balena Etcher and execute this one then insert your USB drive so at least 8 gig of space then click on flash from file then let's navigate to Zorin OS on our desktop then select our target which is our USB drive then click on it then click on select so make sure you have back up all the files on the USB drive then let's click on flash once the flashing is done you can close the balena etcher then we're going to the recovery system of the iMac to do this you need to press and hold command R while the iMac is booting after you press the power button then we need to navigate into the utilities then hit on the terminal then we will type csr util space disable then press enter okay then we need to close the terminal and reboot our imac while the imac is rebooting you need to press alt or option on your keyboard making sure that your usb drive is already plugged into the imac then you will be able to see the EFI boot icon on your boot screen, then press enter. Then you will be brought out with this menu. You can try or install Zorin OS, press enter. Then you will be proceeding on this window. You can press Control c to cancel all the file system check. From this menu, just click on Try Zorin OS. Then we'll be booting into the desktop. Then click on Install Zorin OS on your desktop again. So this time, we'll be proceeding to install the Zorin OS into our machine. So click on English if you're in English. Then choose your keyboard layout. Then press on continue. If you want to connect your wireless connection, you can do so. For now, I will not going to connect. Then you can choose from the normal or minimal installation. You can check don't participate. It's up to you. From here, I'm going to choose the erase disk and install Zorin OS. And just a warning, make sure that you already downloaded or back up all your files and documents on this iMac prior to erasing the disk. Then click on install now. Then once the installation is complete, you can press on continue testing. Then click on this icon which is the file explorer. We're going to edit some of the files. Then from the file browser, click on other location. Then select your 1 terabyte volume, then click the on the ampersand, then boot, then click on grab. Then from the empty space, just right click and open in terminal. Then you need to type in sudo nano grub.cfg, then enter. Then using your up and down arrow on your keyboard, let me maximize this. Let's go down, all the way down. Then look for the menu entry, Zorin dash dash class dot Zorin. Then on the lower part, which is the Linux portion, we're going to add some flags on this part. So let me maximize the window. Then 
let's press up then forward or the right arrow all the way to splash then press on space then let's put no mode set then space then on your keyboard press ctrl x or command x then press y then enter okay so we're done you can now restart the iMac then click on restart then once it's rebooting you can uh, press enter then you can remove the, your usb drive on your imac then it will proceed to boot into your new operating system which is the zolan os And that's about it and thank you for watching and see you on our next one.